restrictions, but everyone is just thrown in the middle and people are kicked out of restaurants, they're dragged off oh, airplanes, is... they're kicked out of schools, oh, and they haven't amazing. done anything. So the, no, the they haven't is... done anything they... except been annoying to everyone around them no, and spread their COVID. What happens is sometimes with, with threat and risk, it's handled that everyone gets thrown in Let me to ask the mix. you this question. This anger that we see in our it's society. It's not anger. It's We're... reality. <laughs> Well, all right, the anger is the reality, is. but there's still anger. It's still anger. But this anger that we're dealing with, where people are so uncivil that from your standpoint, they're forcing you to wear a mask, or from my standpoint, they won't wear the damn mask. Is this more likely? Are we more likely to see more shootings in public places? You would think you would. Mass shootings. But it's been, it's been two years that this has been going on. And I, would, I always said to myself, when yeah. you have a country that is un, in, un, in civil unrest yep. and there's a lot of tension and people aren't working and it's negative and just depressing, this is what feeds yeah. mass murderers and there's criminals. Only, it feeds them. There's only one thing that's going to save us. What's that? Television. There you go. Television. The fact Go that read gonna... a book. Watch TV. Nobody reads books anymore. You would think, but it really hasn't. There's a lot of, you know, something with mass murder and stuff like that. It hasn't really gone in any other direction you've seen a lot more homicides yeah the homicide we talked about that yeah. a couple of weeks ago the homicide individual homicide rate has gone up absolutely it has i'm i worry about mass murder because of this anger in society we'll pick it up later on and by the way this is our christmas issue uh edition rather christmas it looks edition. like nathan already opened his christmas present that's a nice sweater you got that's a nice sweater nathan. the other christmas gift i got was a gun and i told my parents you probably shouldn't have gotten me this yeah <laughs> Probably shouldn't have got me this. Now I'm going to be ticking off more check marks on the back of my phone. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we'll be calling the threat assessment team uh, right after the uh, this episode. This has been Inside the Line, Real Stories by Real Cops. I'm Dave Radigan. That's Dale Lawrence. Over here is Nathan Arroyo. Happy holidays, everyone. Take care of yourselves.